Hola chicos, ¿cómo están el día de hoy acá en Chagran Chicos? Vamos a continuar con Vampire y bueno, el Dr. Swans. Y me están pidiendo que recabe información sobre ello. Así que bueno, vamos a ver qué pasa. No veo como mayor información acá, por lo menos. Tal vez me equivoco, así que voy a revisar bien. O sea, lo voy a rescatar, a él jamás le haría daño, se lo juro, a él nunca le haría daño. Es un... me gusta como es, o sea, un buen doctor. Una buena persona. Ahora no digo que la chica que da medicinas era mala, pero... En su momento yo estaba recién aprendiendo a jugar y vi experiencia jugosa y lo mateo. Que fue prácticamente lo mismo que pasó con la otra ciudad. Yo pensé que tal vez la ciudad sí sobreviviría sin ellos dos. Pero me equivoqué. Y cometí un error que maté a muchos. aquí que me equivoqué, esta va es... quiero que sea al revés, quiero poner... Entonces uno recupera... Eh, si uno punto de salud y sin punto de salud no, son nivel 3, pues esas fusiones son gigantescamente buenas. Y aquí debería haber. It's algo. locked. It's locked, all right. Blood of a pure heart. God. Blood of a king. I should find the key to that. Box. It's locked. No sé qué habré desbloqueado, pero algo desbloqueé. Algo desbloqueé. Ahora me dice solamente rescata. Por ejemplo, es locked, todas right. estas mierdas que están cerradas nunca las he podido abrir. He abierto algunas cosas, pero no todo. Rescata a Edward Sands, me dice. Ya busqué la información. Ya hice esa web ahí. Hay cosas que no hice. También. Y listo. Veamos quién está defendiéndolo. O sea. Edgar. Edgar, can you hear me? Jonathan, is it really you? Easy, easy. Save your strength. I'm getting you out of here. Va a tener que transformarlo. Don't try to spare me. As a physician, I know all too well when it's too late. Punctured lung, broken ribs, and internal bleeding. An accurate diagnosis, wouldn't you say? Edgar, what happened? They wanted me to confess. Beat me black and blue. Jeffrey McCollum ambushed me at the Pembroke Hospital. He was convinced you and I were responsible for the Skull epidemic. I never imagined that self-righteous fanatic would... 
dare to attack us in the open? What became of him? I put him in a somewhat delicate position when I made him an immortal. Really? Are you sure that was the wisest course of action? Time will tell. The most intriguing part of his accusation was that you and I were the pawns of some ancient vampire. William Marshall. Yes, they... They tortured me to make me confess the same nonsense. I think you're hiding something, Edgar. What do you mean? William Marshall, for example. You speak of him as if you know him. How is that? Uh, Jonathan, I, I cannot say I'm ready for another round of questions. Why would the guard of Prewen believe you and I created the vampire epidemic? Maybe due to our profession. Because I offered you shelter in my hospital. What can you tell me about William Marshall? Not much. History paints the story he was the greatest knight who ever lived. Amongst the immortals, he had a yet greater legend. Why is the guard of Prewen so obsessed with him? He was the only ancient vampire to escape the first great hunt launched by the guard of Prewen in 1854. They believe he's an evil creature plotting his return. Why would he deserve such a reputation? I cannot say. The Brotherhood of St. Paul Stoll has next to no intelligence on him. All I know is that he's supposed to be the oldest of all the British vampires. While investigating the epidemic, I read some of McCullum's findings. I think you have some explaining to do. I have nothing to hide, Jonathan. Nothing at all. Do you know Doris Fletcher's real name? No, I'm afraid not. Her real name was Doris Jones. She was the daughter of Harriet Jones. What do you want me to say, Jonathan? Do you remember when we suspected Sean Hampton of killing Harriet Jones? Yes. The terrible episode that came as a shock to us all. Harriet Jones faked her own death. When I found her in the sewers, she confessed she wanted everybody to pay for what happened to her. That woman was extremely bitter. Full of hatred. <laughs> Doris Fletcher visited her mother at the Pembroke Hospital. That's how she first got infected. I know nothing about that. Miss Fletcher once came to visit the sick. That is all I know. No, Edgar, there is more. Doris Fletcher was Harriet Jones's daughter. They exhibited the same symptoms. Blind hate and strong physical mutation. What does this sad story have to do with us? Do you know where we are? Doris Fletcher's theater. This is where that hateful creature plotted to spread the epidemic across London. I only briefly met Miss Fletcher once when she visited the Pembroke Hospital. You say it was to see her mother. She seemed like such a sweet and graceful woman my point exactly the disease turned her into a bitter soul driven by vengeance just like her mother a symptom of all the infected patients certain diseases are known to produce similar effects rabies for example and rabies is not the devil at work come on Edgar don't you see the pattern here the epidemic, the link between Doris and Harriet, the suspicion of McCullum. How could I? I never saw Harriet Jones again after she fled the hospital. 
Doris and Harriet shared more than a hidden family bond. They were the embodiment of the epidemic and are linked to the Pembroke Hospital. Come on, Edgar, this is no coincidence. I swear I'm at a complete loss. All I did was administer vampire blood to cure old Harriet. There was no evil plan, no diabolical plot. You did what? I tested the regenerating and healing properties of vampire blood on Harriet Jones. My only intention was to find the cure for influenza, I swear. Whose blood did you use? William Marshall's? Mine? Lady Ashbury's. While transfusing her with human blood, humanely appeasing her hunger, I also kept samples of her blood for my you research. You used her blood on Harriet Jones? My God, Edgar, that's unethical. You betrayed two of your patients at the same time. How dare you judge me? Must I name the alarming list of your victims? We are both deceivers. But at least I know I'm a monster. You have worked beside me. You saw what I'm doing at Pembroke Hospital. Jonathan, you know I'm not an evil soul. Just another victim of this tragedy. Yes, your death is imminent, Dr. Swansea. But I swear, it will be quick. Oh, oh. I already told you to call me Edgar. Am I no longer your friend? I believe you never have been, sir. You have lied to me at every step and betrayed the trust of a woman I cherish. Uh -huh. you, you and the lady? Really? I, I should have seen it coming, I suppose. May I add that I welcome this? The biting, I mean. You have your wish. Is it going to hurt? I always wondered. Ah! 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 en el hospital porque ya no está bueno, paciente cero ya no está pistas escondidas les dije 10.000 de experiencia Para por ahí en tres. O por acá. Puta, no sé, bro. It's locked. Puedo haber sacado más experiencia, pero bueno, le saqué lo que pude. Lo que pude nomás, o sea, 6000 es algo, pero, pero va a quedar la cagada igual, o sea, lo que voy dije cuando vuelva a dormir. Eh, Probablemente algo va a pasar y si la weá se vuelve crítica todos van a morir. Return at a more convenient time. O sea, fijémonos en algo. Aquí él ya bueno, él está vivo ahora mismo. Él no, ya no está vivo. Aquí no pasó nada. Un revuelo pequeño y todo, bueno, pero no pasó nada. Aquí acabo de matarlo. No sé qué vaya a pasar. Ahora, he curado a casi todos. 
So Harriet Jones became the original carrier when Edgar gave her vampire blood. Turn around. I must tell you. que me dice ella ahora porque probablemente me va a decir ah estás mal puta mataste a otra persona o oh, puta te equivocaste le diste inmortalidad al otro imbécil siempre me castiga no me castiga pero me reta por lo que hago como que no está contenta por las decisiones por lo menos una decisión que fuera del pueblo yo no estoy contento porque Ahí hubiera podido sacar mucha experiencia y bueno, no la saqué. Y ahora cada vez más It's locked, all right. me cuesta sacar más experiencia. O sea, ¿Por qué? Porque cada vez más difícil. La What good la fortune wea. brings you back to me, Jonathan? La, subí los skills, ¿no? What is it, my dear? I'm afraid it's bad news, Elizabeth. The worst, actually. Please, speak up. Edgar is no longer in McCullum's grasp. I resolved that matter. Where is our good friend now? Is he well? He was mortally wounded. I put an end to his misery. That is terrible, Jonathan. And yet you did what you must. Edgar Swansea was responsible for the Skull epidemic, Elizabeth. It was he who unleashed the deadly scourge upon London. What? Are you certain? This is the most terrible accusation of all. He confessed everything to me. He sought to cure the disease, to exploit vampire blood to stop the epidemic. But he unwittingly gave birth to a catastrophe. All those poor victims. How could he do it? What happened? Edgar gave no heed to ethics. His theory could have been proven to be correct, but he abused the confidence of his patients to test it. I must say I'm shocked, Jonathan. Who would have thought it? And the poor patient. Let me guess. It was Harriet Jones, was it not? Yes. That explains how Doris Fletcher was infected, and how she became an icor. She secretly visited her mother at Pembroke. Then we have no choice. We must act quickly, Jonathan. We must return to the sewers and put an end to the threat poor Harriet embodies. I have one more matter to discuss with you. Harriet Jones was the primary case, but... Do you know what a healthy carrier is? There is a tone in your voice that frightens me, Jonathan. What are you trying to say? It was your blood Edgar used for his experiment on Harriet Jones. No. No. The 
this can't be. Oh, God. Elizabeth, are you all right? Uh, no, I have to go. What do you mean? Leave me alone. Save the city, Jonathan. Save what can be saved. Elizabeth, I need answers. Why did your blood Stay cause Stay away this? from me. Please. I swear, I never was your Wait. enemy. Wait, no! Elizabeth! Como que estaba contaminada, como que... Ella, a ver, ella no le dio sangre a nadie, pero... Pero... No me tengo nada. Con su sangre, puta, le dieron la sangre a esta, a esta tipa, a John, John John, a esa guana Pero le dieron la sangre de Elizabeth Y al parecer el doctor pensó que le iba a sanar eh, Y se infectó y se transformó en un escor eh, Parece que la sangre de Elizabeth está contaminada Entonces por eso es que ella ahora sale corriendo porque... No lo puede creer, ¿me entiendes? Now would be a good time to blend the recipe Marshall used when he fought the disaster Master, I think I know where to find what I need. Y ahora necesito reunir los ingredientes para elaborar el antídoto. Necesito elaborar el antídoto. O sea, espero no tener que pelear con, con ellos y sean su sangre rápidamente. Si ellos también quieren curar a la gente, así que. Waiting for you to let your guard down. Whose blood could be purer than that of William Marshall? Lord Redgrave will have to spare me a drop. Este one de Lord Redgrave, que es el como el 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 presidente del club de Solon, tiene que darnos sangre sí o sí. Así que. Supuestamente él viene del linaje de Lord Redgrave. Welcome back, Doctor Reed. Puta, es una larga historia, man, en serio. Una muy larga historia, para, hacer, para hacerlo más, más intrigante, porque... Welcome back, my mortal peer. Let me look at you with my piercing new eyes. Good evening, Aloysius. How do you feel? Mr. Dawson to you. You may be my maker, and I thank you for that. But we must not forget etiquette. Forgive me, sir. You're forgiven, my dear doctor. And if you need anything, even the most expensive items, to help you in your mission, you'll just have to ask. I'll be glad to sell you some of the rarest goods I own. Yes, Doctor. What is your plan, if I may ask? Not for the city, but for your own future. My future and the future of this city are one, Doctor Reed. Step by step, London will soon be the center of the greatest empire ever. Would it be insolent to ask what the first step will be? I have ordered the assassination of my entire family to ensure I'm the sole heir to my fortune. I can't take the risk of facing another immortal Dawson. When will that be achieved? We should gain total control of Europe and the Western colonies, and aim to put an immortal king on the throne within a century. Are you already planning a coup? Of course not! My only interest is in the protection of the crown. I want to turn the legitimate king or queen into a powerful echo. How do you feel since your return? I think I may have acquired and read every forbidden document about vampires and how it feels to be an immortal. I even own a copy of the Blood Bible, but nothing. What is this blood Bible? It's supposedly the only documented evidence that an immortal attended the Last Supper. 
you should read it, if you ever find it. What have you discovered? That mortals are but puppets in our hands. I can sense a rat running in our attic right now. Nothing can stop me doing precisely what I want. Tell me about yourself, You've lived a long life and have surely met some interesting and influential Sod off! I don't reveal my life to someone I hardly know, whether he be my maker or not. I beg your pardon. You heard me. And remember, I already wear a protective amulet against your mental intrusions, Dr. Reed. I've studied your species for decades. How is the sanitary situation in the city? Hopeless. It's as if new sources of infection continue to... Goodbye. Don't you see we're trapped? What if McCullum decides to launch a full-scale attack against them? I've heard you were investigating the origin of the epidemic. I'd better hurry, Dr. Reed. The William Marshall, the Lord, the Lord Red. Red Carbon. No, está acá, bro. O sea, está acá, pero ¿dónde? Good evening, Lord Redgrave. Welcome, Lancebearer. To what do we owe this pleasure? I've located the true origin of the epidemic. And I'm about to end it. Good. We've held out thus far. But the time has come to put an end to this crisis. Tell me, what do you need? The blood Thank of you. William Marshall. The blood of William Marshall? Of my maker? Are you mad? This blood is the purest of all. My maker proffered it to me on the battlefield. I cannot hand it to you. This is more important than the club you or me. This is London's last hope. I see. Well, in that case, given the gravity of the situation, I suppose I can spare you a drop. Thank you, my lord. Now go, lance bearer. Craft a legend to be sung to Ascalon recruits for the ages to come. You again? What do you want? I have a few questions to ask. You hold in that vial the most sacred blood of all. I can help you no more. We all count on you, Dr. Reed, for tragedy is imminent. Eso ya no es acá, eso es allá. Ya, ya. No, pero adiós, que sea, ¿no? No fue tan cagado. Yo creo que la misión es... La misión esta de los ingredientes que tengo abajo, no, no la misión principal, sino la misión secundaria. Está mala porque yo tengo los ingredientes y aún así no la... Aún así no la toma. Pero yo creo que lo mejor es... Volver al pueblo y ahí... Y ya estamos con el tiempo así. Y... Estamos con el tiempo, chicos, así que hoy yo creo que el Hunter está hasta acá. ¿eh? 
Ya bueno, conseguimos sangre de ese tipo. Supuestamente esta es la muralla que construyeron, que vale callampa, porque es de madera, weón. ¿no? Tanta plata que uno tiene para construir una muralla de madera. Eso es lo que no entiendo. ¿no? Tienes, no sé, si tienes tanta plata ahí, ya bueno, construir una muralla de, no sé, concreto, ¿no? Ya está de metal la porque si no es mucha pérdida de tiempo y aparte ya debería haber Así que nada chicos, eso va a ser por el día de hoy, ya saben, suscríbanse, dejen like, comenten, 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 comenten,